You've been in this place before. Build settings in Unity. In the upcoming Unity 6, which will be released this year, the build settings will receive a huge makeover with new features and capabilities. Let's go through them together, discover new features and check if this is the best way to manage your build logic. Before we begin, a friendly reminder. Features shown here are part of the Unity 6 preview. You first need to install it in the Unity Hub. We'll go through three use cases. The first one, you may need to build two versions for Windows. One based on Intel architecture and another one based on ARM. Until now, you had only one set of settings per platform and any change required you to manually tinker with the settings. But now you have the ability to create build profiles. Build profile is a configuration file that stores info about platform, platform settings and even optional player settings overrides. To create one, click Add Build Profile right here and select your platform. I'll go with Windows. That created a new list position. Here you can see a familiar settings. Scene list, let's add currently open scene here and platform settings. For now I will stick to Intel 64. I can now build it. Let's switch profile, it was previously called Switch Build Platform and click Build as usual. After that process is done, time for the second build. Also a Windows build, but this time for ARM processors and with development settings. Normally, I would need to override the existing platform settings and build again, but now I can create a separate profile. Right-click on Windows and click Duplicate. Maybe let's rename it to Windows ARM. Then here I will change the architecture to ARM and enable development build. As you can see, that is a completely separate profile and now if I would like to make some changes and build my game, I can do that without overriding any settings. If you're building the game, it's likely you'll publish it on platforms like Google Play or itch.io. To attract players, an engaging trailer is essential. Unity created this awesome package called Unity Recorder. Unity Recorder allows you to create screenshots, video recordings and other complex elements useful for your game trailer. I've condensed all the knowledge about this package in my new mini course, covering both basic and advanced topics. This includes recording multiple cameras at once, recording animations, transparent videos and more. Check it out now by clicking the link in the description and visit CoCode Learn to get Unity Recorder mini course. Time to move on to the next example. You have your project with many platforms configured, but you just started working on a new game and you want all your settings copied. That will actually be extremely easy using new build profiles. The secret is that whenever you create a profile, a new file in the asset folder is created. You can find it in the settings, build profiles. Here I can see all the profiles I've created previously and I can even edit them here in the inspector. As you might have already guessed, to move them to the new project, just open this folder in the files explorer and copy it to the new location. That will move all the settings and configuration without the need to set up everything from scratch. And the last example. You have two profiles, which settings looks exactly the same, but as the name suggests, one will be distributed to the public and the other one will be only for you or your testers with enabled cheat codes. Here comes scripting defines, that allow you to decide to which parts of the code will be executed depending on the version. For example, here in the game manager script, I've added an option that when a T key is pressed, it enables the debug menu. Here is how it looks like in the game. I would like to enable this option only for the tester build. To do so, just type hashtag if the name of your symbol, for example, tester, then the part of your code that you want to execute only for the testers, and finally, hashtag and if. That's it. Now, if I run the game, you can see that this part of the code is not executed at all. To enable it, let's go to the tester build profile and here in the scripting defines, add tester. If I switch to this profile, 
and wait for a second, you can see that when running your game, our debug menu works as intended. Using this setup, you can configure multiple different profiles, all with different platforms, settings and even in-game logic. I've highlighted a few significant improvements introduced with the new build profiles logic, but honestly, there is a whole lot of untapped potential we haven't even scratched the surface of yet. There is still no way to auto-increment build number each time you build. Why do I need to define a sin list separately for each profile if there is this sin list option here at the top? It would be handy if I could replace all scenes globally, then optionally override it per profile. Another one, each build profile by default subscribes to the same player settings as defined here and optionally gives you an ability to override them. The problem is that when you override, it's all or nothing. You can't override only some of the options like in the usual prefab unity logic, which can quickly produce many issues, not to mention again the build number. You'd need to increment them manually each time for every profile. And the last one, for God's sake, why can't I run an automatic build of all the profiles at once? The Unity developers have stated that most of those concerns will not be addressed or altered by the time Unity 6 is released. Until then, I'd like to show you a powerful alternative that already works in existing Unity versions. A tool called Super Unity Build. It is a free package for Unity with similar idea that fills out many gaps of the introduced solution. To install it, go to the package manager in Unity and add a new package based on this GitHub URL. After the install, forget about the build profiles. You can now build your game here in the window Super Unity Build. I won't cover this tool very deeply, but let's quickly configure a common scenario. My project will be built for both Mac and PC and it will have two release types, public and tester. Here, add a new release type, name it tester. As in the previous example, it will have a custom defined tester and it will also be a development build. Don't forget to add a scene. Then another release type, this time public. No special settings here, only scene set up once again. In the build platforms, let's add macOS and PC. Now in the build configurations, you get a summary of all possible releases and platform combinations. If you know that, for example, you won't have any testers on macOS, you can simply disable this configuration. And now the best part, you don't need to manually build each option one by one. You just click perform all enabled builds and watch the super unity build to do everything for you. At the end, you will have a nicely organized folder structure with all the builds you performed. These are only the basics of this tool. You can find more guides on the official GitHub. Don't forget to check out the Unity Recorder mini course on Coco Code Learn. As always, thanks a lot to my awesome patrons that support this channel. See you soon!